Well, um, I, you know, I grew up in the Pentecost Church. Uh, we had uh, probably the most influenced music I was influenced early on was black gospel. Uh, Andre Crouch, you know, a lot of different black gospel artists. So I, I have a real blues, black gospel, R&B kind of uh, background. Um, I always grew up loving pop music, you know, like the pop sounds and, uh, you know, playing keyboard and keeping up with, you know, keyboard music. So basically I've always loved pop music and I, and, and, and I like a rock and a little bit of rock. So what I did on this album was combined all those things together, keyboard with a little bit of rock. When I turned 23, I signed with a company called BMG out of New York when I moved there. And uh, I started writing pop music, you know, not Christian music. And so I, it was during those times I really was thinking about doing a pop album for a mainstream label and stuff. And I um, was kind of getting out of the Christian music world. And then when I, when, uh, when I was up for about a year in, in, in New York, uh, the Christian label in Nashville called me and asked me to do a Christian album. So I struggled with it for about six months because, um, again, it was that during that searching time of my life. And uh, I, I had forgotten the reason why Christian music was important. And... Um, it took me going to New York and getting out of it and writing pop music to realize the importance of the message and meaning uns and being just literally around only unsaved people. I, it took me about six months to decide, but the Lord just really said, Keith, it's time to come back to your roots. And it's time to come back and do a Christian album because now you realize why we need Christian music and why we need the message out there. So um, I believe Christian music is more message oriented than any music in the world, and uh, obviously. So that's the reason why I like doing Christian music is because it gives you a platform to say something and a platform to tell the truth. Mountain. 